Oh. Hey, hey. Hello. This is Zipso again, and actually, this video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to show you how to kill Lugalbanda, the Wanderer King tyrant, the one that drops the Ether Receding Rust Longsword. I'm going to show you how to kill that tyrant with basically nothing. No augments, no no good gear needed, no augments needed, nothing except skills and arts. Very easy, very simple. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, how do you kill this tyrant? I see a lot of people wondering, you know, how do I kill this tyrant to get my first Ether Receding Rust Longsword? I'm going to show you how to do it with basically nothing, no work at all necessary, except farming the support missions, obviously, to uh, farming Nocturnal Knights over and over so that you can make sure you max out the skills you need for this. So first, the most important thing are the skills. So these are the skills you're going to want. You're going to want Core Crusher. Yamato Spirit, it boosts TP by 60 when using a melee art, double if an aura is up. Hellhound, which extends your overdrive duration by 10 seconds. Maximum TP up by 1500, Night Soul, and Aura Assault. These are the skills you're going to want maxed out. Then, Arts, you're basically going to be going in there with a scrubby longsword dual guns build. So, just the basic Blossom Dance loadout. Now, I want to show you that I am using all gear bought from the shop. These are level 1 dual guns to show you that you really don't need anything else. So I'm using level 1 dual guns, the level 60 sword bought from the shop, and this is all level 55 armor bought from the shop. Make sure you buy the level, the candid incredible gear because it has potential on it and that's what's going to help your blossom dance do the damage it needs to kill. Uh, this is not the candid incredible set but it came with potential on it anyway, so I just... whatever. So this is all bought from the shop. All of this gear is bought from the shop. No augments whatsoever. And now I'm going to warp to um, the Tyrant area, which is FN Site 209. And I'm going to show you how possible to kill this Tyrant with barely anything. <laughs> Obviously, you've seen that all my gear is bought from the shop. All I did was max out five specific skills. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do uh, is you want to max out your TP bar. You want to run into this battle with full TP bar. Okay. So, uh, the, in my opinion, the most convenient way to do this is on the way into the tunnel, you run into these blotters. And these blotters, they don't hurt, easy to kill. You can just pull them and attack them a few times and get your TP up. Just kind of dick around with the blotter until your TP is max. Boom. Okay, so I'm at 4500 TP. I'm maxed out. I'm going to get off my Ares here. Go down. Go to. I'm going to go to this Tyrant and I'm going to defeat this Tyrant with basically minimal preparation, if any at all. The only thing it cost me was the credits to buy that stuff from the shop. And then the time farming the BP from the support mission to max out those five skills. And maxing out a skill from level one doesn't take much BP at all. So very, very simple. Very, very little preparation. And watch my skill usage. You're going to want to kind of go in the same order to make sure you, you have no hiccups. You're an Ether build, so you want to target the face. Just run in, and here you go. Hit Overdrive. Hit the Aura as soon as possible. Use Primer to get a free TP boost. Start your melee combo. Blossom Dance as soon as you can. Now, once you've lost some dancers down, you can have it again, non tertiary, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to kill him anyway. Nice so, you'll see that I was able to approach him with just absolutely awful gear. I got a blue one. Terrible. So, uh, actually, I'll treasure deal that just in case someone needs one. So, you'll see that I went in here with absolutely awful gear and I was able to. Uh, kill him. No augments whatsoever. All gear bought from the shop. Crappy dual guns. Crappy everything. So, 
um, just let you know in order to buy this gear you're going to need to have the uh, candid incredible manufacturer at level 5 which means you're gonna have to have invested enough meranium in that manufacturer to get them to level 5 in order to purchase the full set of potential gear so real quickly I'm just gonna walk up to the uh, manufacturer I'm sorry not the the shop and show you where it's purchasable so you just walk up here and ground gear you know head whatever so and, and this, this is the gear you're looking for level 55 cannon incredible it's got potential up debuff suppressor treasure sensor it doesn't doesn't really matter it just has potential that's really the most important thing so I basically bought a full set of that no augments killed the king got a sword it's that easy all you have to do is max out these skills I told you use that blossom dance art loadout and it's is really as easy that core crusher yamato spirit hellhound night soul or assault really easy really easy to kill him get your sword get moving with a real blossom dance build good luck everyone